Abbey Castles, and I show at the Florida State Fair. Hi, my name is Haley Moolander, and I show at the Florida State Fair. Today, we're going to be talking about reproductive management. So things to look forward to learning about today are animal breed identifications, what to look for when selecting the best cow for your herd, the reproductive process, the reproductive systems and their functions in both male and female anatomy, the stages of pregnancy, processing calves, reproductive equipment and their use, breeding practices, selecting cattle based on their pedigree performance, advanced breeding techniques, genomics. Introduction to animal breed identification. The beef ca cattle industry compromises two key select sectors, the large commercial industry and the smaller seed stock or purebred breed. The commercial sector predominant in the industry involves crossbreeding females with purebred or crossbred bulls, producing weed calves sold by weight for further finishing and stock or feedlot operations. Eventually, <laughs> culminating in beef and its byproducts. The seed stock, or purebred segment, accounts for just 5% of American beef production, focuses on, focuses on selling genetics like purebred breeding stocks, replacement heifers, semen, and embryos. Selection criteria emphasizes economically significant characteristics to their offsprings. Crossbreeding, the mating, of different breeds often results in an offspring exhibiting superior performance due to the hybrid vigor. Comp composite breeds emerge from crossbred animals to harness the positive attributes of both breeds, promoting consistent traits, inheritance, and establishing a dedicated breed registry. Breeds of cattle. Short one. This breed was this breed was developed in England as a dual purpose breed, milk and beef. These animals can be red, white, or rowan in color. They are noted for their good disposition and mothering and milking abilities. They can be horned or pulled. Simital, one of the oldest cattle breeds in the world, imported into the United States from Switzerland, France, and Germany. Can be red and white, gold and white with white faces and pigment around the eyes or black. They are noted for their fast growth and milking abilities, horned or pulled. Hereford, developed in England. Hereford cattle have red bodies with white faces and are known for their foraging ability, vigor, hardness, and quite dis disposition. Originally horned cattle, Herefords can also be pulled. Limousine, developed in the west central part of France. Limousine were first imported to Canada, solid to golden red in color with lighter circles around their eyes and muzzle. Can also be black, horned, or fold. They have excellent carcass traits and feed efficiently. Feed efficiency, making percentage limousine steer highly stout during the pack by packers and for the showing. Santa Gertrudis, the King Ranch in Texas crossed shorthorn cows with Brahma shorthorn, shorthorn bull, bulls to produce a fifth eight shorthorn and three eighths Brahma USDA recognized breed. These cattle are known for their growth rate, long life, and harness in harsh conditions, horned or pulled. The Angus, originated in Scotland, Angus is the largest beef breed registered. Angus are pulled with a black, smooth coat. They are known for their carcass quality, milking, mothering, and reproductive abilities. There is also a Red Angus Registry, which was the first performance breed registry. Brahma, imported Boss Indigus type bulls, were bred to U.S. cows to produce the American Brahma. These animals vary from light gray or red to almost black. Longevity, the ability to, the ability to withstand heat and insect, insects are the breed's most important economic traits. Horned or pulled. Charlotte. This breed was developed in France and imported into the United States from Mexico. These large white cattle are noted for their fast growth rate and lean meat, making them popular in crossbreeding programs. Originally horned cattle, but some are now pulled. 
Brangus. This breed was developed to utilize the superior traits, carcass traits of Angus with the superior production traits of Brahman cattle. They are known for their resistance to heat and humidity and as well as their high fertility and milking ability. These cattle are full. Shinia. Developed in Italy, these cattle are white with black skin pigmentation. They are very large. Mature bull weighs up to 4,000 pounds and stands 6 feet tall. Originally used as draft animals, but now used primarily, primarily in terminal crossbreeding programs in the U.S. all are horned. Galvia, origina originating in Germany, selected for meat, milk, and work. Introduced to, into the U.S. through the importation of semen. Red or black in color with strong skin pigmentation, known for superior fertility, calving ease, mothering ability, and growth rate of calves. Horned or pulled. Man and Jew. From France, Man and Jew is one of the larger breeds. Mature bulls, 2,200, 3,100 pounds, and mature cows, 1,500 to 1,900 pounds. Very dark red or black with white marks on the head, belly, rear legs, and tail, with white on the other parts of the body, common. Dual purpose breed for milk and meat. Introduced to the U.S. by importation of semen from Canada. What to look for when selecting cattle? Feet and leg structure, body structure, degree of fat, muscle, and reproductive soundness. Reproductive process. Sexual reproduction begins with mating or copulation, where the bull deposits semen into the cow or heifers. Reproductive tract during estrus. Ovulation marks the release of eggs from the ovary. Fertilization occurs when the sperm meet the egg. Cows usually give birth to one calf, but multiple eggs can be released, potentially resulting in twins. Gestation is the pregnancy period, while partition, also known as calving, is the birthing process. Diastosita, or difficult labor, can impact breeding for cows or heifers. The female anatomy. Ovaries produce eggs and produce hormones, estrus and progesterone, throughout the stages of the estrus cycle. Oviducts provide the environmental for the sperm transport and catheterization, octonite transport, transport and retration, fertilization and early embryonic cleavage. Uterus provide a sustainable environment for fetal development. Cervix, to isolate the uterus from the external environment. Vagina, the site of semen deposit during natural service. The vagina also serves as an unrestricted pathway for the calf at time of birth. Urethra, opens into the vagina. Vulva, the passage of urine, the opening for mating and serves as a part of the birth canal. Male anatomy. Scrotum provides physical protection to the testicles and helps regulate the temperature for optimum spermatozoa development. Testicles or testes. Formation, maturization, and transport of sperm. Epidemis. Transportation of sperm. Ductus deferens. Transport sperm into the pelvic urethra. Ves vesicular glands. Secrete a clear fluid that adds volume, nutrients, and buffers to semen. Prostate gland. Neutralize traits of acidic urine to the in the urethra. Bulborethra glands. Cleanse the urethra of urine. Urethra, the common pathway for the Ex excretory products of the two male tracts, semen of the reproductive tract, and urine of the urinary tract. Penis, the organ of insemination. Glands penis, stimulated during copulation to induce ejaculation. Prepuce, allow the bull to extend and react the penis in, in the course of breeding.
stage of pregnancy, stage one, the preparation phase of delivery. During this time, the cow will go off by herself, get up and down, and may urinate a lot. It lasts two to six hours and ends when her water bag breaks. Stage two is when the cervix is fully dilated and the cow is actively pushing. It may take one to two hours and one to two hours in cows and two to four hours in heifers. The cow often lays down. Stage two ends with delivery of the cow. Stage three is the passing of the placenta, which should occur within six hours after the delivery of the cow. If the placenta has not been passed by 12 hours, seek veterinary assistance. Never pull on the placenta. Pieces can be left behind, potentially causing infection and preventing urinary repair. Processing calves. Castration. Castration reduces aggression and mounting behavior and helps prevent unwanted mating. The method of castration will depend on age and weight of the cow. Producer preference and the t and time of year, castration should be performed as early as possible to reduce stress. Baby calves can be castrated shortly after birth with the least amount of stress. While calves castrated early may have a reduced rate of gain, numerous research studies have shown that a proper implant program will compensate for the losses and add to the value of the animal. Methods of castration. Surgical, performed by making an opening in the scrotum and removing the testicles. Non-surgical, can be performed by using an elastrator band or an emasculatum, also known as a burguzo clamp. Dehorning, dehorning of young calves is recommended to reduce the risk of injury or bruising to herd mates, prevent financial losses from time trimming damaged carcasses caused by horned feedlot cattle during the transportation to slaughter require less space at the feedlot and entrancement. Methods commonly used caustic paste, the combination of caustic substances and dehorning paste tissue and prevent horn growth. Hot iron, an iron is heated up to red hot, then held firmly to the horn bud for about 20 seconds, destroying the horn production cells and preventing further growth. Knife. In this dehorning method, a knife is used to cut away skin around and under the horn bud, surgically removing the horn from the base tissue. Spoon. A circular blade is pushed into the skin around the horn bud, then rotated and tilted to groge, groge out the horn. Barns. A hinge, closed set of sharp scoops, which were placed over the horn against the base and surrounding skin. Opening the handles forces the cutting edges together, slicing through the skin and under the horn. Keystone. A keystone dehorner has two handles that move a blade downward against the plate and another blade slicing through the base of the horn and surrounding skin. Obstetrial. A piece of wire is attached to the two handles, then moved back and forth rapidly to saw through the horn base blade a one inch circle in the skin. Hand saw is a, in this method of dehorning, a hand saw is used to remove the horn along with a half inch ring of the skin around the horn base. Reproductive equipment. We have a semen tank, breeding gun, breeding seat, palpation glove, thaw box, and SI, CID, R and CIDR insert. We have heat detection devices, calf puller, semen straws, straw cutter, forceps, thermal, thermometer, lubricant, and pelvimeter. We have ultrasound machine, obstruction chains, artificial vagina. Uh, now we have identification methods like tattooing in the ear or ear tagging, but this is also the paste that they use to dehorn cattle. The castration, these are some types of dehorners. And then this is a method for identify, identifying if a cow is in heat. This is 
the end of our reproductive slideshow. Thanks for, for watching. watching.